capacity here. So we know that we've been talking about fruits and we've been talking about heart health since February is American Heart Month. So I wanted to come to you today and read you a book about fruits. So first, what we want to do is talk about the parts of our book. So here we have our front cover, our back cover, and our spine. You guys want to try? Okay. Front cover? Yep, yeah, our front cover. Back cover? Yep, yeah, back cover. Spine. And our spine, yep, yeah, which we know holds everything together. So like we've been talking about a little bit with fruits, we know that they're great for our heart, they're great for our bodies, and we wanna just talk a little bit more about how we make sure that our friends don't keep us from eating our fruits. So today we're gonna to meet a friend called Brian, and we're gonna go with him on his journey of helping his other friends learn about how awesome fruits are. So we'll go ahead and get started. Our book is called Piranhas Don't Eat Bananas by Aaron Blaby. Piranha. The piranha is a freshwater fish that lives in South American rivers. They are known for their sharp teeth, powerful jaws, and their enormous appetite for meat. The piranha will happily eat cows, sheep, donkeys, horses, monkeys, gorillas, cats, dogs, kittens, puppies, guinea pigs, bunny rabbits, goldfish, postmen, pizza delivery guys, little children who've been naughty, professional tennis players, old ladies who were just in the wrong place at the wrong time, little children who've actually been pretty good, astronauts, ballet dancers, belly dancers, TV talent show contestants, chimney sweeps, and most other types of people. What they don't eat though is fruit, especially bananas. So this is Piranhas Don't Eat Bananas by Aaron Blaby. Hey there, guys. Would you like a banana? What's wrong with you, Brian? You're a piranha. The banana looks good, though. Well, how about some silver beet? Are you serious, Brian? We eat feet. Uh-oh. Where's its toes? Or would you rather a bowl of peas? Stop it, Brian. We eat knees. Well, I bet you'd like some juicy plums. Look at their faces. Look at Brian's friends. Look at him like he's crazy. It's like a good plum to them. That's it, Brian. We eat bums. Oh my gosh, look at his friends. We don't eat apples, we don't eat beans, we don't eat veggies, we don't eat greens. We don't eat melons, we don't eat bananas. And the reason is simple, pal, we are piranhas. His friend, we don't eat fruit. Well, I think that's silly, guys. Fruit is the best. We can't take much more of this, give it a rest. His friends are getting so upset. Okay, I'll stop then. You'll hear no more chatter, but only if you try my awesome fruit platter. Give it here then. They're not happy with Brian. Oh my goodness. Good Brian. I'm watching his friends. Apples and bananas. They're tearing it up, guys. Grapes and pineapples. I see a pear over here. Look at all those awesome fruits. They look like they like it. So, what do you think, guys? Is it yucky or yum? It's very nice, Brian. But we still prefer bum. How do they prefer bum to fruit? They still prefer bum. So the banana is a long curved edible fruit grown on large flowering plants. They grow in clusters, generally in tropical or subtropical areas, and have soft pulpy flesh and yellow skin when ripe. Bananas are often eaten and enjoyed by monkeys, chimpanzees, gorillas, orangutans, gibbons, and people who don't mind the gooey texture. 
On the other hand, they're almost never eaten by South American river fish, especially piranhas. That just doesn't happen. Please note, the skin of a banana is very dangerous. You can slip on it, causing you to fall on your buttocks or your bum, which is possibly why piranhas avoid them. The end. So that is piranhas don't eat bananas. And we met Brian and he loves fruit, right? Just like us. We know that we love fruit for so many reasons. It gives us potassium, vitamin C, especially bananas. Bananas have a lot of that potassium and vitamin C. So good for your bodies. And we know that if we eat our fruit every day, that we'll stay heart healthy and our bodies will fight off germs. And if you're outside playing with your friends or your family, brothers and sisters, if you come back inside, fruit can actually help your body recover and feel better. So next time, grab a banana for a snack when you come in from playing and your body will feel so good. All right, friends. So we know American Heart Month is February. So we wanna keep our hearts healthy, right? All right, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Have a good one.